I wouldn't like to talk to you about snakes. Now, we all know on um, different types of snakes that are very ven venomous. I'll get it out there. <laughs> and you'll have to excuse Cheyenne. He, he's outside in a pen and sometimes he likes to bark. So, okay, heads up on that one, okay? But anyway, I'm going to try, I'm going to, try to keep this real short. Just want to talk about snakes, all right? Now, snakes. Just give you an example of venomous. I'll get it out there. <laughs> venomous snakes, all right? All right, one, rattlesnakes, all right? That's number one. Uh, cottonmouth or uh, water moccasins. You know, they're known as either. Okay, and then there's coral snakes, cobras, black mambas, and etc., etc., etc. Now, most people with common sense know that if you go to pick up a, a snake, what's going to happen, especially if it's venomous. Hey, I got that right. I got it out without struggling. All right. But anyway, you know that when you go to pick up a snake, you know, if you're you know the difference between a venomous, a poisonous one, or a non-poisonous, like a grass snake, a king snake, etc., etc., etc. I mean, you know the difference. You know, even a, a rat snake, right? I mean, you know that difference. But I want to tell you something I heard. Um... I was a preacher. Uh, I think I was 15, 16 years old. I heard this preacher, this colored minister, uh, get up and preach. And boy, could he preach. And in a sing-song way, I'm not going to do it the way he did it, but I, I, I loved listening to him. You know, he... I don't know what's he doing now or anything. I can't even remember his name, but he's uh, here in Arkansas, in Little Rock. And uh, now, now most people know this little story. Some write it as a, a poem or whatever, but uh, each one has their own version. But I first heard it from him. You know, but but he was using it in a, a sermon. So he said, and, you know, he was trying to, trying to use it as an illustration, you know. Now, this event did not actually happen to him, of course, but, what, but it was a sermon. And in a sing-song way, as he was preaching... <laughs> He was telling about uh, a certain snake. In fact, he said, I was going down the road. And it was on a cold winter day. And then I saw a snake. And it was cold. It wasn't even hardly moving. So I picked up that snake. And I put them in my pocket. So I, and I went on traveling down the road. And I looked on it and checked on it, and he was starting to warm up. So I went down a little bit further. I'm going on down the road. And I looked at him, and he was doing well, you know. He was, he was thawed out. And, uh, and I got him home. And I looked at him. I said, now, snake, so you ain't going to bite me, is you? And he said, the snake told him, said, well, yes, you picked me up when I was down on the road, all cold. You knew I was a snake. 
and you know that therefore, since I am a snake, I'm going to bite you. Now, if you think about that, really, I mean, I mean, you see this stuff in our politics, in, in the churches, especially the churches. I know we see it in the politics stuff, but in the churches, there people are picking up snakes. I'm not talking about the ones who uh, they get out and they do a little dancing in church and and and, and shouting and hollering and then passing the snakes out. No, I'm not talking about them. I suppose you could throw that in there, but I would never touch no snake like no. You know they're testing God. You know, but anyway, the thing is, you got all kinds of stuff that's outside of church that belongs outside of church. I mean, you got all kinds of boogaloo and honky-tonk type stuff, you know, uh, drinking and, and, and whoring and, and, you know, all kinds of stuff, you know, devil worship, and you name it, blah, 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 right? But that's being brought into the churches, so that's the snake. Did you know? This is a fact. Now I can't remember uh, if it was the old, from Hebrew, the old Hebrew, translated into old English originally, or, or some uh, someone who knows may can add it in down below. But like in in the, the the Bible when it talks about the you know like for example in Genesis when it talks about the serpent. All right, the word was originally, uh, as it was translated into Old English, I believe it was. Anyway, worm, W-Y-R-M, worm, you know, and thus, you know, you, which was something that you termed, would call for a dragon. Uh, slew foot, uh, the devil, Satan, or Satan, and, and such is not has been referred to also as the dragon or the serpent. You know, but that stuff, though, no matter how you uh, change, you know, the different names, it's just still the same thing, right? Well, that's you got that stuff going on in in churches. So, if you see the snake. And you know it's a snake, and it's in the church. Don't pick it up. Get out of there. Get away from it. Run out. Make a hole through the window, through the walls, through the doors. Vacate it. Leave it. Don't mess with it. <laughs> yeah. So I thought I'd throw that little tidbit in there, share it with you on this porch talk, a little porch talk. Today, it's a little colder, and tonight's going to get pretty much about freezing tonight here in Arkansas. Uh, low 30s, uh, 31, 30, 30. I, I forget exactly what, but anyway, it's supposed to get cold. Cold, cold. And, it, and it's starting to get now, just now, the temperature's starting to drop, you know, because today the high was up somewhere in the 50s, but it's dropping, so... I'm going to get off of this porch and go inside where it's warm. You know, now, don't expect me to do no porch talks uh, when it's real cold, all right? Now, pray for one another, okay? And love one another. And one little last thing I got to say, and I'm going to shut up, all right? Remember this. Now, I'm not pointing no fingers at nobody in particular. I'm just stating an obvious fact. Uh, and I'm just giving this as an example. All right. Uh, I mean, you get a lot of stuff on, on YouTube or other social media sites and stuff. But, like, when it comes, when it comes to, like, uh, paranormal 
or groups and stuff like that that's on uh, 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 YouTube, you know, here on YouTube, right? Well, problem is, talking about a snake, too much arguing and bickering and name calling, cussing like sailors like you wouldn't believe, and, and, and blaming this one and that one. Whether their argument is true or wrong, they're sitting there chewing each other out and, and this and that. What? Where's that getting you? Don't get you nowhere. It is all, all it causes more trouble for you and others. So let me suggest, no matter what your uh, niche, I guess you call it, on uh, a social media is, whether it's Instagram, YouTube, uh, Facebook, or wherever, right? Just remember this. You know, let's say maybe some of you used to be in church. Uh, that is, you used to follow Christ. And then you vacated. The times are short, and all this stuff ain't ain't getting you nowhere. All right, it won't get me nowhere, and it won't get you anywhere or anyone else anywhere, except one place you don't want to go, and that's a bad place, my friends. Think about that. I'm not pointing no particular finger at anyone, and I'm not thinking of any particular person or anything. I'm just talking about an obvious fact. No matter what your niche uh, is on the social media, if you're caught up into that, and, and, and if you are proclaiming, you self-proclaim to be a Christian, you need to get away from that. Repent. Repent simply means a change of mind, a change of heart. You need that. And if you need help, ask the beautiful great one. He'll help you. He can do all kinds of wonders for, for your heart if you uh, uh, believe in your heart, believe in him, and ask him by knowing that he is able, and he'll do it for you. But the time is short, my friends. It's time to get all of this nonsense out of our lives and get on our knees and start talking to the beautiful Great One and start taking a good look at our hearts because you push it off long enough, yeah, you're going to find yourself in a bad place. And maybe you think, well... Oh, there are too many hypocrites in the church. Well, a lot of us, everyone at some point had played the role of a hypocrite. Don't ever say you didn't. Because then you'd be lying and who. But the thing is, there's hypocrites all outside of the church. But you got to sit there and forget, you know, get rid of all this stuff. Get rid of the snake. You know, and get your, your heart right. That's all I'm saying. You know who you are. You know your heart. You know how it is. And you know the excuses you got. But when you stand up before him, you think he's going, well, yeah, it's all right. Yeah, you just come on in. He wouldn't be just if he did. Now would he? He's not a human judge. So think about it, all right? So, I just thought I'd mention a little bit of that to y'all and, and everything. And, and uh, I love you all. And I don't expect people to always agree with me because I'm not always right on things. But I only know one thing that's right, and that's the Book of Heaven and Him, the beautiful Great One. Always right. Yeshua, He's number one. I remember the Jesus people back a long time ago had stickers with a little hand symbol with a finger pointing up. One way. There's only one way to heaven, and it ain't a thousand different ways. Remember that, because if you believe otherwise, you're going to find yourself 
and a very sad disappointment, you know, where it's too late. So just think about all these things. If you like what you heard, hit the like button. And if you want, you can share it. And if you want, if you feel if you feel like it, hit the subscribe. I love you whether you agree with me or not. All right. I love you all. I mean, I hope that you're blessed in everything that you do and that you'll take care in these last days. These these times are evil, my friend. Evil times. So be careful. Watch your six. Your I mean, physically and spiritually. Watch your six. Now, as my papa used to say, 10-4. <laughs> All right, I'll, I'll catch you later. And let's pray for one another. You got a request, put it down below. If you don't want to name specifically what it is, say, I have an uh, unspoken request that I need, I need, that needs prayer. You know, and sure thing, no problem. So, and if you see, if you will, go to Country Boy Floor's uh, channel and uh, tell him that you're thinking of him. And, and don't say it because I said it. Say it because you said it from here, that you mean it. Because he knows whether you mean it or not. <laughs> you know, but mean it from the heart. Go over and tell him. And let them know you're praying for them, too. And, 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 in fact, let others know you're praying for them, too. Yeah? All right, I'm getting off here. I talked way too long. I just, it's going to be short and look at this. Mm -hmm. All right, I love y'all. Take care. Be blessed. And I will catch you another time. And please come back to Porch Talk to this channel, the Cherokee Outlaw channel, again. All right. Take care. Be blessed. Until then, let me just say, aho and wado.